Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. And SARS. Protesters refuse to back down. See what Buhari is advised to do. Buhari and Bharati. <laughs> Nigerians. <laughs> Protesters refuse to back down, saying enough is enough. We cannot continue to allow evil to reign in our community. We want a change in government. We want accountability. Above all, we want good governance. Nigerian government have not paid heed or listened to the protesters. Anyway, they have refused to back down. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Following reports of a second wave of NSAS protest soon to commence that has started already, the government, through multiple outlet caution against any form of participation by the citizens of Nigeria, especially the youth. President Muhammad Buhari warned the people planning to engage in any form of street protest that they would meet with forces and actions by the military they will not expect. As such, they need to withdraw from any planned protest. The government ordered the deployment of its military personnel to the streets to curb the protest. The protesters, however, has defiled any form of warning from the government. And the protests are reported to have commenced in some parts of the country. Some parts like Oshun State yesterday where protesters went to the House of Assembly. Following the commotion, Senator Dino Malay has advised the, the commander of chief to desist from useful force while trying to get the protesters off the streets. He advised against anything and any force that could put the country in bad light, especially with the international community. My advice to President Muhammad Buhari on the threat of NSAS protesters, he should desist from any form of force and protect the people rather than using force. Only justice, fairness, consideration, cooperation can, f can finally bring reality to what is on ground. Protest is a legal part right of our society. Any gov given government should be able to accommodate protesters and listen, why is there a protest? Can this be discussed? Can they come to a round table? Can the government yield to the protest of the people and get it done and settled? So why would the government want to allow his people to be destroyed? Listen, Nigerians, this is what is going on. The federal government has been advised. Buhari said protesters must leave the streets. Uh, that he has asked the military to deal with anybody, uh, tell parents to make sure that they don't allow their children to join in any form of protest at all. Well, this is happening, and uh, Nigerians, this is what, um, you know, the youth are planning to make sure that the government are held accountable. The new fuel for this new protest is not just for, you know, accountability by government or good, good you know, good protest or uh, good governance or, you know, we having, you know, uh, we having good roads, education, and all that we need to have, but... We are crying out for some of our people who were held by police since October when this protest started. They've been in police custody. They've not been released. Some have not been released. Accounts that have been frozen needs to be unfreezed. It's December. People need money to be able to do what they need to do, you know. Apart from December, people need money to be able to, you know, do what, you know, and what they are trying to do is to intimidate the people so that they are boxed to a corner and they are stranded. You see? So they are boxed to a corner and they are stranded. This needs to stop. So they need to release those people, uh, accounts released, and as, as, uh, also not just account released, we also need those whose passwords have been seized, restored, and returned to them. And the government needs to stop making the making the youth her target we are not against you we are not your we are not against you we are only crying yes for good governance 
We are saying we are tired of bad governance. We want good governance and we want our nation to be better. That's all we are crying for. We are saying, give us good road. It's been 60 years. Give us what? Electricity. Let there be power water. Let children be able to go to school and get all that they need to get. Let people get what is duly theirs. We don't want oppression anymore. That's all. Nothing more. Nothing more. Let police people do what they are supposed to do. Let policemen guide the people. They should not go on the street and be the one destroying lives and property. It's wrong. So that's what we are crying for. And that's what we are saying. Nothing more, nothing less. We are not saying Nigerians, we are not saying, uh, we are not saying uh, Nigeria should be overturned, one thing or the other. No. Unfreeze, unfreeze our account. Release those that are in police custody. Free them. Why are you keeping them? What's the reason? What sin have they committed? What sin have they committed? Release them. And those who you have kept, who, who you, have, you have tagged one thing or the other, or you have one police case or the other on them, release them. Release them. They did not go about, the, all they are saying is, we want good governance, we want change, that's all. Or am I saying something strange? That's all we are saying. Now, Buhari is going ahead, himself and, um, and the uh, uh, head of uh, army, saying that they, want, they will deal with everybody, anybody they find mercilessly. Why would you want to do that? What's your reason? Why would you want to do that? What's your reason for carrying out or engaging in that kind of activity? This is, clearly, this is clearly oppression. That's all. It is oppression and nothing more. And that's why we are saying enough is enough. Buhari, listen. You have children. Okay? When your son had an accident the other day, we saw how you ran out, you left every other thing, and you were going to take care of your, children, your, your son. Which is okay, which is what a good parents should do. So why are you now going ahead and destroying other people's life. Listen, you cannot kill other people's children and expect your own children to have a good life. It's not possible. It's not possible. He that kill by the sword will die by the sword. It's not possible. Every one of you who wants Nigerians to be intimidated and brought to a corner, it's only a matter of time. You will also meet your own water low. It's wrong. It's very wrong. So Dino is advising him. Don't put yourself you know, in a tight corner with international community and don't cause yourself to become, you know, something else. It's happening and then we are crying out and saying, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Let the voice of the people prevail. If for nothing, listen, listen. What are the youth saying? What's the bottom line? What do they want? You know, so leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.